Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Vertiblue.com.au. Shop anywhere, anytime. SAFM News Briefing. Hi there, I'm Alicia McFarlane. A woman is being treated in hospital in Queensland after she was attacked by dingoes on Kagari, formerly known as Fraser Island. It's believed the woman in her 20s was jogging along the beach this morning, suffering several bites. The Prime Minister is still confident the voice to Parliament will pass despite a drop in support. The latest news poll showing 41% of Aussies would vote yes in the upcoming referendum. Speaking on Sky News, Anthony Albanese says a win may be a challenge, but he has faith. Referendums in Australia have been difficult to pass, only 8 out of 48. But this is a clear and simple proposition for recognition and then listening in order to achieve better outcomes for Indigenous Australians. Australians. A bridge linking Russia and the Crimean Peninsula has reportedly been blasted, killing two parents and injuring their child. It's understood an emergency situation occurred on the Crimean Bridge early this morning. Russian officials are inspecting the damage. Queensland is trying to get the jump on flu cases, offering free vaccines. It follows the death of an 11-year-old on the Sunshine Coast from Influenza B. Flu cases across the country have skyrocketed this year, but only around 30% of us are vaccinated. Police are guarding a mysterious metallic cylinder that's washed up on a WA beach. Inquiries continue to determine exactly what it is, which was first discovered on Saturday, about 250 k's north of... After this... There is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. In sport, Adelaide has accepted Josh Rochelle's two-match suspension for striking, while Essendon is expected to appeal Zach Merritt's staging fine he copped during their loss to Geelong. While footy great Dale Thomas says the Cats are primed for a run at back-to-back -back premierships after the big win over the Bombers. They have, I think, three or four more games at GMHBA Stadium on the way home. I reckon they're the only team outside the top four that can really give it a shake. And the reigning premiers of the AFLW in Melbourne will open the new season against Collingwood on September 1. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, Juan and John. This is SAFM Weather. 14 and partly cloudy for the rest of the day across the limestone coast. Some rain on the way tomorrow. We're heading for a top of 14. For the best sporting podcasts from Australia and around the world, lift your game with Listener. Download the app now and search Sport to listen.